Okay, if they have three sides, let's say, or I could just say if they are triangles, right? Um, that should be an S if they have three sides, um, or triangles. Okay, so in other words, if I were to have to, if I had to write this out, um, we'll use a different T here. In other words, T1 is related to T2 because T1 has three sides and so does T2. So I would say that T1 is related to T2. But I could also say that T2 is related to T1. And of course, T1 is related to T3. And T3 is related to T1. I'll have to continue this down here. And T3 is related to T1. And of course, we got to go through all the others. T2 is related to T1. And T1, oh, I already did that. T1 is related to T2. T2 is related to T1. T1 is related to T3. Oh, T2 is related to T3. And T3 is related to T2. Is that all our possibilities? Three, two, one, six. Yeah, T1, T2, T1, T3, and T3, T2. Anyway, so if we had to write this out as a set of ordered pairs, this is what our relation would look like. Okay. Um, <clears throat> anyway, so this is generally speaking, and we defined our relation to be if two two things had the same sides, same number of sides. I can also, uh, there's something like in my treasure maps I use a lot of, and that's compound words. Um, for example, uh, I would use like, for example, sunrise, let's say. Okay, so that's a compound word. Let's break it up. Sun and then rise. Okay. Sun is related to rise if you can put them together and make a word, right? But rise is not related to sun because, so this doesn't have the reflexive property. Sun is related to rise. So if I had to uh, write this as a set of ordered pairs, I would say sun is related to rise. But it wouldn't be the other way around. That's if we could make a compound word, make a word out of this sunrise. So this is like one of my secrets here. Um, there's lots of ways you could define, you can make tons of uh, relations. For example, I might have some object drawn on my map over here and some object over here. And if these two things are related, then a line exists between them. A line passes through both of them. So you would have to find what is this relationship and then the clue would be that there's you know some kind of imaginary line drawn through it and maybe this is where the treasure is located somewhere in the middle right there. Okay. So one of my uh, secret uh, techniques there for uh, coming up with clues on a treasure map. But this whole idea um, really uh, brings out a lot of creativity in one's mind. And you can define your relation any ship, any way you want. It doesn't matter. There's no set rules on that. You can define it any way you want. You can define, uh, for example, I might have an object and it's colored red over here, some object. And then I have another object and it's colored red over here. Right, and I throw in some object that's drawn up over here. But uh, these two objects right here, you might define your relation to be uh, that these two.